This year I have uh, I've actually designed the route that we're walking. Uh, that came about a few years ago uh, when I was doing one of the walks. I thought, well, what would go into actually designing one of these walks? How hard would it be? So I decided that I would, even just for my own pleasure, my own fun and challenge, design the walk. And I found that actually it is actually quite hard to design a 40 mile walk from scratch. Uh, when you have to consider the walk needs to be challenging but enjoyable. Um, it has to keep away from roads, be on paths and tracks as much as possible. Got to allow for suitable places for checkpoints along the way. Um, but yes, it's taken me probably four or five years to actually come up with the walk from inception to completion. So I'm very glad that finally it's actually going to happen. This route, it starts from Bonsall village over just the other side of Matlock. Uh, and it comes back to Whitwell, uh, not in the most direct route because we've got other things to go around like Chesterfield. Um, so yes, a lot of the highlights along the way, there's Bonsall village itself, which is very pretty. Then we drop down into, uh, into Matlock Bridge, with, so there's some fantastic views and it'll be daybreak when we're dropping down into there because the walk starts at 4 a.m. And then from there, up from Dalydale, up to Hollymore Side, Linica Reservoirs, and then all the way back through, through Staveley on the, the, the Chesterfield Canal and up the Greenway into Clown and then back to Whitwell. As part and parcel of what the route is, what the walk is about, it's, it's raising money for charities. Um, it is, it is, that's not only what it's about, it is also about personal challenges for people. But uh, raising charities is another fantastic thing that the walk does. The, the money being raised in this year's walk is going to, to your charity. What does that mean to you? That, that just means so much to me. I've been um, a walker myself for, for other charities with, with the, the Louise Smalley walk. So this year it's like extra special for me personally uh, that it's going to Rothax. But also, you know, all of Rothax that just are so honoured um, that, that it's for us this year. We're, we're a charity that we survive on things like this um, and the money we is well needed. We support hundreds of, of, of people aged 13 and up uh, every year um, to, to work with the effects of, of trauma. So this money is going to be so useful, but also to people wanting to walk, do it. <laughs> you know, I started doing it, I think it was 2012, and I found that's helped me with, you know, wading off sort of uh, vicarious trauma it's so good for your mental health but it's so much fun you make so many new friends and the walk is beautiful i've done some of the practice walks it is a challenge but it's beautiful so please sign up and, and do the walk and your money will be spent on an amazing charity uh, ian i'll leave the sort of last word with you are there still places available for, for people to walk and what would you say to, to anybody who's thinking about I, th I think there is still just time to get yourself registered if you wanted to walk uh, and if not this year then consider it for, for next year or a future year uh, it is a fantastic thing it's a way of getting fit it's a way of meeting people it's an enjoyable it's not just the day it's the weekend it's the talking about it afterwards it's the swapping stories afterwards um, it only hurts for a little while, I can assure you. Um, and yeah, and, it, and if you don't, if you not, don't want to walk or you don't think that's for you, if there's somebody you know that's walking, then please sponsor them, support in whatever way you can.